In this video, I'm gonna be showing you VO by Vercel, which is Vercel's new generative AI platform that allows you to, with natural language or with an image, generate a UI. So if you go ahead to the vo.dev site, now it is under a wait list. So I did have to wait a handful of weeks to gain access to this. So if you want to try this out, you will have to sign up for a wait list. It's sort of TBD how long that wait list is and how long you might have to wait, but it isn't publicly released yet. Now you can look at a number of examples. So there's new generations. So one thing just to touch on, as you're playing around with us, if you're using the free tier, any of the things that you generate will be public. So the way to actually make private versions is you will have to subscribe to their tier. It starts at $20 US a month. So if I look at one of the examples here, the way it will work is if you put in a piece of natural language like this, so here we have a profile card for a user in the middle of the screen, it will generate three different options for you. So say you like that last option or the middle option, what you can do from there, you can share it. Now the nice thing with share is you can share it without someone else having to make an account or be logged in on Vercel, so it's really nice if you think, say you wanna share something to a designer and they might not have a Vercel account, you can just share that link and they'll be able to see what you have there. You can also fork other people's, so it has a very GitHub type of vibe. You can star other people's, you can fork your own. So very flexible in terms of what you can do. Now, in terms of the code itself, so it generates React with ShadCN UI and Tailwind components. It also generates just plain HTML with Tailwind. Now, over time, it looks like they will be implementing more design frameworks, so not just uh, the Tailwind implementation. Maybe they'll use Material, or maybe they'll implement with Bootstrap sort of TBD on that front, but it does say that they will support other design systems in the future. Now, in terms of other frameworks, that's also TBD. I don't know, maybe they will implement uh, being able to use this in something like Vue potentially, but remember this is the company behind Next.js, so uh, not sure on the supportability on other frameworks necessarily. But the fact that it gives you React and HTML and Tailwind, I think is going to be very satisfying to a large portion of developers. So if you're not familiar with Tailwind or Shad CNUI, I'll put the links in the description of the video. They're very easy to get up and running with. So if you just had a basic create next app project, you can go around and play around with both of these things very easily. So I'm gonna send in an example. So I took a screenshot of this uh, page here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go back here and I'm going to pull over the screenshot here and click generate. So what's really nice with this is you can send in pictures or natural language and it will start to generate three different examples for you. So the thing with this, it's a credit-based system. So if I just go to the pricing page, you will get 200 credits for free. Now the way it works, you get or it will take 30 credits to generate the first prompt where you have three examples and it will take 10 credits for each subsequent prompt. Now with each subsequent prompt, once this has been generated, you can pick which one you like. Now you have the option to select an element and change it from there, or you can go ahead and just reprompt the whole canvas there. So you see here, it did a reasonable job uh, of generating what I sent in. Now the other thing that I'm going to just show you here is let's just say make a landing page for a YouTuber. So while this is loading, I'm just going to head over here just for a moment. Now, the nice thing with this is as you make uh, different UIs, you'll be able to have them all within your profile here. So here you see all the different examples that I passed in to VO to generate all these uh, examples that you see on the screen here. Now, one thing to note with VO, so it's called VO for a reason. So it's not V100 or V1000. It's not gonna give you a production ready, fully designed, uh, beautiful website off the bat. But what it will do is it will save you all the time that it would take to code out all of this. So I think you'd likely be familiar if you've worked with either of uh, these things such as uh, Tailwind and React to actually scaffold out even like a little basic proof of concept, it would take some time to write out all of this. So to be able to just copy this code, uh, you can even edit it in here as a side note. 
But to be able to copy this code or just run this command within your Next or React project and be able to reference these components, it's going to save a ton of time. And the other thing that's cool with this is even though I'm, I sent in a screenshot, just as an example, you could imagine a scenario where maybe you want to pass in something that a designer gave you. So it's like, here's this whatever component or hero area or whatever you want to build, pass that in. It's not gonna give you exactly what it looks like, but it will probably give you a pretty close representation of what you're trying to accomplish. And then you could just sort of make those subsequent uh, tweaks and add in the images and do everything you need from there. So that's pretty much it for this one. I just wanted to give you a quick look of what it looks like. Amazing implementation by the team over at Vercel. I look forward to more people having access to this because I think it's an amazing platform. It's going to certainly gain a lot of attention. I think once it is publicly released, it's going to save developers a ton of time. And it's just generally a really cool tool at the intersection of AI and development development. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And otherwise, until the next one.